Good evening and welcome to Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions for this BCA Sports presentation of Round 1 of the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs between the Brockton Boxers and the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Peter Zimbo and Miles Jackson here courtside to call the action. Brockton enters this game the number three seed in the South Section of this MIAA postseason. Attleboro, the number 14 seed. Needless to say, Miles Brockton is the heavy favorite entering this game, but they can't lose sight of the fact that it's single elimination, one loss, you're out. Exactly. This is um, the high school's March Madness going on right now, so neither team can take the other team lightly because anything can happen. We see it happen in college. It does happen in high school, so Brockton has to stay focused all four quarters to get into the next round. Starting five for the Brockton Boxers, the point guard number 12, Marcus Azer. Shooting guard number 13, Jerice Harris. The two forwards, number 15, Abu Kaba. And number 22, Amir Lewis Charles. In the big center, number 35, Sonny Oaken Lola. He's got the ball right now, puts it up, no good, rebounded by Brockton. Back to Oaken Lola down low, off the glass and in. So Brockton uh, draws first blood here tonight. Yeah, good patience by the big man underneath. Oaken Lola had. Great patience, wait until the defense guy commits himself to go up and then easily puts it off the backboard. Starting five for the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Number three, Kevin Velasquez, the guard. Number 25, Brian Sissio, who'll be the predominant ball handler for Attleboro. And number 31, Nathan Douglas. They operate with two forwards. Number 35, Carlene Charles. And number 22, Jason Ware. Brockton for three, in and out, no good with the rebound down low off the glass and in. That is number 12, Marcus Azor. So Brockton up 4 nothing, less than a minute into this game. Yeah, Marcus is not scared to go underneath for the rebound, even though he's playing guard. He will get key rebounds during the game. These teams did not meet during the regular season. Brockton with an impressive regular season, finished off with a record of 17-3. Attleboro, 13-9 throughout the regular season. They lost some key players, I was told, due to disciplinary reasons amidst the season, which uh, may have thrown Attleboro for a loop athletically. That's number 31 for the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Nathan Douglas caught in the lead in half for Brockton. Four to two is now the score. It's out of bounds off Attleboro, Brockton ball. Yeah, good defense by Attleboro to clog up the middle on uh, Luis Charles. That was a very easy pass between defenders for a guy inside the paint. Oak and Lola with the ball now for Brockton. Once again, puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Attleboro. Little shake and bake by the Attleboro guard. Almost lost the basketball. Attleboro for three, no good. Oak and Lola comes down with the rebound for Brockton. Ooh. Nice adjustment going in between the defense. Put it up nicely off the glass. Abu Kaba, 6-2, Brockton on top, 5.53 left to go in the first quarter. What I like so far, Pete, is uh, Brockton's going to the, to the basket with most of their shots. Got a foul called down low. And that's going to be against Brockton's Amir Lewis Charles, and that's going to send number 31 for Attleboro to the free throw line. Nathan Douglas, who has the only two points scored thus far in the game for Attleboro, who looked to make that four with his trip to the line, but misses his first attempt. Six three Brock with the lead. Five minutes thirty nine seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Good team up by Brock, and ultimately it's number twenty two Amir Lewis Charles tipping in for two. Eight three Brock on top. Yeah, nice job by Charles to follow the play. Was right around the rim when the ball did not go in for uh, Azor, and nicely put it up.
Number 25 for Attleboro, Bryant Sissio with the lay-in. 8-5 Brockton on top. Brockton for three, no good. Yeah, Sissio did a nice job adjusting to the defense, put it high up off the glass. Nearly taken away by Brockton, but ultimately off the hands of number 13, Therese Harris, out of bounds. Blue Bombardier's ball. Big man down low for Attleboro, goes laid and no good, gets his own rebound, puts it back up, and then good second effort by Quileen Charles. Yeah, it was a nice pass by the guard. One point game now, 8-7 boxers, 4.30 left to go in the first quarter. For three, I think Brockton's 0 for three from outside the perimeter here in the first quarter. Yeah, they usually can hit those shots. Right now they're cold, still early in the ball game, but Right now, the, the inside game is really working for them. Alkin Lilla loses control of it. Alboro with the ball. Hey, put it down. Yeah, Azo would have might have taken a few more dribbles and Move it. make sure Oaken Dole was set back down there. But they were running the transition game, and Oaken Lilla just couldn't handle it. And for the first time in this game, Attleboro with the lead. Quarleen Charles with a two-pointer. 9-8, Attleboro on top. Three minutes and 35 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Brockton for three once again, and now they finally find their mark. That's number 22, Amir Lewis Charles. He's got five points on the day so far. 11-9, Brockton retakes the lead just as quickly as they lost it. Yeah, that's his, one of his favorite spots on the court. Right there on the left-hand side. Is that the big man from the outside? It is. Yeah, and he can hit him from out there, Peter. He's done it all year. I believe the last home game for uh, the Boxers, the one before the senior night, excuse me, he hit about three or four of those shots from the outside. Call against Brockton and number 25 for Attleboro will go to the free throw line. Bryant Sissio makes his first of two. Remember years ago, there was a player for Severian we'd see every year, usually in the unfortunately now defunct Rotary Holiday Invitational Tournament. And he was 6'9 and would try to shoot threes. Yeah. Oh, well, they're doing it in the college, they're doing it in the NBA, so you, you know, of course the high school kids are gonna do what they do. Inside the perimeter, that is Amir Lewis Charles, Brockton up 13-10, 2.33 left to go in the first quarter. That kid whose name I can't remember from Severian. Yeah, I, you know, I can picture him, I can't remember his name either. Tallest, lankiest high school basketball player yes. I've ever seen. A year later, I saw him in the March Madness tournament playing for Holy Cross. Down low, that's number 34 for Attleboro, putting it up and in. 13-12, Brockton's lead just at one, just over two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Yeah, that was just good positioning underneath for the Attleboro player. There was no blocking out by the Brockton defense. From way downtown, no good, rebounded. But as, as he's coming down, I think it's gonna be a foul against Brockton. Or is that gonna be against? Uh, they called it against 34, but there is no 34 yeah, in the court. Yeah, I think they called it on Glenn Doherty. Referee adjusted, and you're right, it was against Doherty. Yeah, he was the only one that came over, be over behind him. A little bit on the ticky tack, but he did, there was some slight contact. So what happened was he fouled number 34, and they said white 34. Yes. And we're going, wait a minute, that doesn't exist. That was 
was pretty, a little stop and pop. Abu Kaba, 15-12. Brockton on top, less than two minutes to go. I officially designate that my favorite name to call so far. Haven't done a game all season, Miles. Yeah. Abu Kaba, that's my guy. I see you have no problems pronunciation on the kids. It is a catchy name. And that's a three-pointer tying the game for Attleboro. Yeah, I believe that number 22. Jason Ware, 15-15 is the score. Yeah, the big man makes one from outside. That's going to be out of bounds, I believe, off Brock, and so it'll be Attleboro ball. Yeah, good call by the ref. Down low, no good for Brockton. Glenn Darty with the ball, puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Attleboro. Just over 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter. We're all tied up at 15. Hey, get it out! Get it out! Get it out! Hey. Like Coach, Coach Attleboro wants him to call, bring it back out and call a play. Traveling called against Attleboro will be Brockton Ball. Yeah, that travel was called by good defense on um, Glenn Darty. And uh, number 34, Wilson got a little rattled and traveled with the ball. It looks like um, Brockton's going to run down these last 11, 12 seconds. So first quarter concludes 15-15 is your score. And we mentioned at the top of the broadcast, Miles, that Brockton the heavy favorite, but they can't lose sight of the fact that one and done. This is a competitive game through eight minutes. Yeah, right now it is a competitive game. As the game goes on, we'll really find out what Attleboro has. They got a good starting five, can hang right with Brockton's starting five. But the key is, what does Attleboro have on their bench? because um, they're going to need, their starters are going to need a little bit of rest. We know what Brockton has on their bench. They have a great bench that comes in, and Brockton barely misses a beat with their bench. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Attleboro um, responds to that. And furthermore, Brockton didn't exactly have the hot hand from outside the perimeter in the first quarter. Missed a lot of three-point attempts. Yeah, I, I think that's just from a little nerves and everything. They, they got to loosen up a little bit. I'm sure they'll warm up from the outside because that was a, bad display of shooting from the outside by the boxers. Brockton Boxers head coach, Bob Bowen. He's been the varsity coach for X amount of years now, a long time. Yeah, he has been in the teens. I'm, oh, Took over for Vic Ortiz exactly. well over a decade ago. Oh yeah, well over a decade. Uh, done a great job with uh, the Brockton kids. And uh, let's hope they uh, run deep into the playoffs this year. And the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers head coach, Mark Hull, also the athletic director at Attleboro High School. Wearing a lot of shoes. I mean, excuse me, wearing a lot of hats. Some big hats. He, he right might there. change shoes depending on, yeah. you know, dress shoes during the day, sneakers for practice in yeah. the afternoon. Second quarter has begun. Qualine Charles gets called for the travel for Attleboro, so that bucket does not count. We're still at 15 15. Yeah, it was a good call. You can see he shuffled his feet. Once he had the ball, he kind of slid his feet, which is a travel. From the outside, no good rebounded by Attleboro. Attleboro from the outside, no good rebounded by the boxers. Junior Montero 
Nice deflection yeah. by Carleen Charles for Attleboro. And first bucket of the second quarter, Junior Montero. Yeah, nice pass by Abu Kaba right there in the paint. Throws the defense j just enough to let Montero get a nice, easy little push shot off the uh, backboard. So Brockton on top, 17-15. Attleboro ties it up, however, thanks to number 25. Yeah, Isaiah Ariste, he really went up high to get that layup. Nice job. That was Bryant Sissio for Attleboro. And inside the paint for Brockton, number 33, Navon Reed. Yeah, nice job by Reed to move it out the basketball. Went right into the paint, was fed the ball, put it right up. Sissio once again for yeah. Attleboro. A little shake and bake and move. You know, it seemed to be the consensus amongst observers before the game that this was going to be, you know, a layup of a game for Brockton. But 1919 with 534 left to go in the first half. If you're Attleboro, you say, well, if that's what everyone was saying, we're still standing. Wow. Quite a move right there by Abu Kaba, your man. A little spin move and put it off the glass with his left hand. Six points on the day for Kaba. Got some oohs and ahs from the crowd there on that move. This Bryant yes. Sissio has got the hot hand for Attleboro. Yes, he does. A little lollipop shot in the paint over the big man. Nine points on the evening for Bryant Sissio. He's one for two at the free throw line. Nice little fake and a little stop and pop from about six feet from the basket. They've just been trading two points for two points for the past few sequences, it seems. Off the glass, three-pointer for Attleboro. Yep. Mason Hull. Yeah, and he had a man in his face, too. Wow, that was a nice shot. That, I believe that was um, number 33. Navon Reed. Navon Reed, yeah. Brockton up by 125-14. 4.09 left to go in the first half. And we've got a call down low. I believe that's going to go against Brock, and that's going to send Attleboro to the free throw line. And Navon Reed called for the foul, and shooting two for Attleboro will be number 31, Nathan Douglas. This will be his second trip to the free throw line tonight. Went one for two earlier. Like Brockton's replacing the whole squad with a fresh new, fresh new legs out there. Obviously, Coach um, Bowen wants to keep running. Let's see what Attleboro has. Let's see what type of gas they have in the tank with 404 left in this uh, first half. 26-25, Attleboro on top. Less than four minutes to go in the first half. From the outside corner for Brockton, no good. Rebounded by Attleboro. We'll lose it to the boxers. Lose it back to Attleboro. Bryant Sissio. Dish it off to a man down low. Layup, no good. Rebounded by the boxers. Out of bounds. That is going to be off Attleboro Brockton ball. Well, both teams uh, squandered. Easy, um, well, not easy, but they squandered points on their transition game. Luckily, Brockton gets the ball back. Mason Hull for Attleboro gets called for the push foul, not a shooting foul. And Jerese Harris will inbound for the boxers. Ooh, nice 
nice shot. Amir Lewis Charles with the second three-pointer of the evening. Brockton reclaims the lead 28-26, 3.14 to go in the first half. And we're gonna have our first timeout of the evening called by Attleboro head coach Mark Hool. So 28-26 is the score. Brockton on top, three minutes and 10 seconds left to go in the first half. And you mentioned that Brockton is a very deep bench. Head coach Bob Bowen sent a new batch of five players out there moments yeah, ago. Yeah, and, and Attleboro's still hanging in there. They haven't missed a beat. Trading, like you said, trading baskets with boxers. Um, with 3.10 left there right now, Attleboro's coach has to be a little happy that they still has his team in the game in the first half. I have not called the Brockton Boxers game yet this season. I attended one. It was Super Bowl Sunday against Newton North, and they lost. Maybe I'm a bad luck charm. I hope not. Uh, no, Newton North is the real deal. Um, Brockton did ha didn't have, they weren't themselves, I heard. I didn't see the game, but I heard they really weren't themselves that, that day. And when and thing about it is when you come and play the big boys, you got to be ready to play. Um, there's really no excuses. you got to come out and play. But it was a good learning experience. That was their first loss of the year. One of just three for Brockton, the number three seed in the MIAA South section. Attleboro, number 14, hanging real close with the number three seeded boxers tonight. defense by the boxer, but what they got to do when they have to get that steal, they got to hold on to the ball. That Brockton defense caused that bad pass by the uh, Attleboro Bombardiers. Mason, back up! Mason, back up! Big man with the rebound, Colleen Charles for Attleboro. Nice block by Brockton. Clean block by number 12, Marcus Azer. Yeah, beautiful block. Who's that, Azor with the block? It was. Nice job by the guard. And a foul called against who for Attleboro. Yeah, a lot of times, if you're the recipient that has a shot blocked, a little extra effort, you'll go after the ball, and a lot of times it'll end up in a foul. Good defense by the Blue Bombardiers. Unfortunately, it results in nothing for them. Brock and Ball. Jalen Lee gets a, a rest. Luis Charles has a quick release going to the basket. I mean, it's lightning fast, and if you're not careful, this is what's going to happen. You'll be called for a foul. So number 22 for Brockton, Amir Lewis Charles at the free throw line.
29-26 Boxers, 1.37 left to go in the half. Whoa, just picked his pocket. Abu Kaba. And he did a nice job protecting the ball as he went up because the big man was right on him. You know, that's the second time that Weir has thrown the ball away because of the tenacious defense by the boxers. I have to give uh, Attleboro credit, though. They totally have shut down uh, Harris because he always has the hot hand out there from the outside, and he really hasn't been given, uh, given an opportunity to shoot that shot from the outside. Down low, that was Quarleen Charles. 31-28, Brockton on top. 42 seconds left to go. Here he in is. In the first half. Big break there by the boxes. Good hustle. Good opportunity by the uh, Attleboro team to get just a point away. Call down low. And it's going to be against Quileen Charles for Attleboro. So at point seven seconds left in the half, we're going to see Marcus Azor at the free throw line to shoot two for Brockton. Azor, good free throw shooter all year. First half concludes. Brockton with the lead by four. 32 to 28 is your score at halftime. And both teams playing rather fundamentally sound basketball. Brockton not having the hot hand still from the outside. The number 14 seed Attleboro Blue Bombardiers hanging in there with the number three seed Brockton Boxers. Yeah, they're really hanging tough. I gotta get them cre credit and very scrappy. The guards have really played well and they've just done a good job of hanging with the boxes uh, in these first two quarters. We'll go over first half scoring leaders and have second half action when we return. You're watching Brockton Community Access. Brockton on top of Attleboro, 32 to 28. You're watching round one of the MIAA South sectional playoffs. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Childhood hunger near you. Learn how at feedingamerica.org. 
We, we just finished, finished dinner, dinner and it was time for homework. homework. He I hates hate homework. homework. It makes no sense. I don't know how he finds anything in his backpack. I can't find my backpack. I couldn't even read his handwriting. Holding the pencil makes my hand hurt. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying as hard as harder. I can. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. Go to understood.org, a free online resource with support and tools to help your child thrive. We're back at you here at Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions where after one half of play, the Brockton Boxers lead the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers 32 to 28 in round one of the MIAA Division I South Sectional Playoffs. Peter Zimbor and Miles Jackson with the call of this game. Very competitive first half of play. Leading scores for Brockton, number 11, Amir Lewis Charles leads the way with 11 points, followed by Abu Kaba with eight, and Navon Reed with six points through the first half for Attleboro. The leading scorer was Bryant Sissio with nine points, followed by Carleen Charles with six, and Nathan Douglas with five as Brockton jumps off early here. Two-pointer for 22. And Amir Lewis Charles continues to be the leading scorer for Brockton here in the second half. Woo! Number three for Attleboro. Kevin Velasquez didn't call his name much in the first half, but he makes his presence known within the first minute in the second half. 34-31, Brockton on top. Yeah, Kevin was quiet in that first half as far as scoring goes. Ooh. I see Harris hadn't hit an outside shot, so he decided to go inside and makes a nice little shot over the big man. Jerry's Harris, 36-31, boxers. Oh, come on. How are you going to call over the back? He out jumped him. Crowd doesn't like it either. Tough call right there for the boxers. That was your Tommy Heinsohn. Are you kidding yes. me moment? Yes. Are you kidding me? He out jumped him. Even the crowd responded to the call. 36 31. Boxers up by 5. 6 34 left to go here in the third. I am not sure what that call was. Uh, kickball on the on the boxes. Playing defense. Traveling called against Sissio. It's a nice job. That was caused by Broxton's defense to double up on the uh, ball carrier. It's like a trap play. Hey. Ooh, nice strong move by uh, Okendola. 38-31, boxers with the lead. Velasquez for three again, no good. Number 15 for the boxes, Abu Kaba. The first bucket of the second half for him. Brockton up by nine. This might be the most they've led in this game, 40 to 31. Yeah, it, it definitely is so the, the most they've um, had a lead in this ball game. Let's see how Attleboro responds here in the third quarter. Foul was called against Jerry's Harris for Brockton. Attleboro inbounds the ball. Big shot right there. Nathan Douglas. Yeah, Douglas keeps it uh, in control for Attleboro as far as uh, letting this game get out of control. Brockton up by 6, 40 to 34. Five minutes to go in the third. Brockton for three, no good. Rebounded by the big man. Ooh, nice job by uh, Okendola get, to get it underneath to one of the big guys. 
Okendola to Kaba. To Kaba. Chris Hill Ooh. from the free throw line. That's a nice pop right there. He was moving and just stopped in his tracks on a dime and hit a nice little jumper from the uh, free throw line. Nice job, Brockton working the ball down. Finally get, get it into the big guy in the middle. Cabo with the easy two. Jarrett's going to draw the foul. Yeah, he was trying his best to get down there and make that shot. Did a good job with the speed. That's going to be against Sissio for Attleboro. And Sissio did a nice job keeping up with Harris, making him uh, earn the shots at the free throw line. Attleboro, as well as uh, Brockton's coach, put some fresh legs in there. Yeah, Peter, and usually third quarter, fourth quarter, it really becomes a chess game by the coaches on who they have in there and what the situation is, who's huffing and puffing, who's got the hot hand, etc. Count the bucket, and he's wow. gonna go to the free throw line. You could see as he was going up for the shot, some tugging coming down. Yeah. Navon Reed did a nice job going to the basket, determined to make the shot. He was fouled. I believe that's called against Lorenzo Wilson for Attleboro. Nice three point play by the uh, sophomore. Excuse me, by the freshman. Biggest lead of the game for Brockton. Their first double-digit lead of the game, 48-36, 3.09 left to go in the third quarter. If there ever was a time to subtly expand upon that lead, this would be the time here in the second half. Exactly, Brockton needs to take advantage. Put some space between his very scrappy Attleboro Bombardier team. You know, Peter, I just realized number 20 for Brockton, we don't have him on the roster. Do you have him? Uh, number 20 is Todd Robinson, who got called up from the JV team. Okay. So when the JV and freshman team season ends and the varsity team continues in the playoffs, sometimes the best players of those teams get the call up. That's yeah. number 21 for Brockton. Tayshawn Glendardi. Wow, and foul, nice play. Nice play by Abu Kaba, going strong to the basket. This could possibly be the second consecutive three-point play in a row for Brockton players heading to the three throw line. See, one of the key is right now in the last few minutes, Brockton has been going to the basket strong, making the basket or getting fouled and making the free throws. Like you said, just a couple three-point plays made by the boxes in the last minute. 13-point lead for Brockton, 51-38. You score two minutes and seven seconds left to go in the third quarter. 
Off the glass and in, that is Navon Reed. Timeout called by Mark Hool, head coach for the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. 53-38, Brockton on top, 158 left to go here in the third. Brockton really opening up here in the second half. Yeah, and Coach Bowen, he's really fired up over there, really emphasizing to his team. He still isn't quite satisfied. And what he's doing is pressuring his um, team, team to really focus even more. Even though they're starting to open up a lead, you still got to focus because this Attleboro team just won't quit. So he knows it's not over, even though there's one minute, 58 seconds left in this third quarter. Anything can happen. Brockton outpointing Attleboro 21 to 10 here in the third quarter. And a lot of that is because of um, Brockton going to the basket, controlling the boards on both ends for the most part. They've done a great job on the rebounding. And if you control the boards, your chances even increase uh, for, uh, to uh, get a lead. And, and what has really hurt Attleboro is Brockton's um, press or trap, their trap play really has um, frustrated Attleboro. Number of turnovers. You can see it right there. Full court press by Brockton. Yeah. And that's gonna be a foul against number 21 for Brockton. Yes, Taysan. Glenn Darty definitely made some contact. Yeah, right in front of us. You could hear the contact. Oh. There was some contact, very little, but there was some. Play happening right before our eyes. Jalen Lee wanted to pick his pocket. Almost did. Crockin getting very aggressive on defense here in this late in the third quarter. Yeah. And very aggressive. We got a 15 point lead. 15 point lead. Coach Bowen barking out defensive uh, signs. Oh, nice job there. Junior Montero laying it up and in for Brock in 55-38. Yeah, that was a nice pass by, uh, I believe, number 24, Jalen Lee. Ooh, finger roll. Had the crowd ooh in and on. Attleboro's Mason who gets second three point of the game, gives them a little bit of life. 57 41, Brockton on top. It's going to be a call against Attleboro. And we're going to see the youngster, Todd Robinson. I tell you, Todd was showing some the of free throw line will be inbounding. Yeah, Todd was showing some of his uh, dribbling skills. Seems pretty comfortable with the basketball in his hand. Junior Montero is doing what he did in football, quarterbacking. And some fumbles the football. Excuse me, the basketball. He didn't do that when he was a quarterback, did no, he? No, he didn't. Okay, he didn't do that too good. much. Oh, yeah, he's kind of laughing. He knows he messed up.
Third quarter ends 57-41, Brockton on top. If this game was competitive for a half, that's about all it's been competitive for. That third quarter, all Brockton. Yeah, that third quarter, just a um, great move by Brockton's coach, Coach Bowen, to initiate the trap right off the bat. And it really just disrupted Attleboro's flow and uh, formula of their um, of their basketball game this evening. They just didn't have nothing to uh, counter that. And um, like I said, now we got they got a 16-point deficit on them with only eight minutes left in this ball game, Peter. Brockton outpoints Attleboro 25 to 13 in the third quarter. Yeah, I mean, there you go right there. Um, Brockton controlled the boards. Uh, they controlled everything in that third quarter. Just a total. I, I didn't think it was going to be that good in the third quarter to tell you the truth. But I figured Bro Brockton might kick it up six, seven points because Attleboro has done just such a good job up until that point to stay with these boxes. But uh, boxes show what they got with that um, with that um, trap game. And they really, you can see they worked hard. Coach Bowen had, had them working hard in practice with that trap. We mentioned earlier in the broadcast that most observers thought this would be an easy win for Brockton going in being the three seed taking the 14 seed in round one of the playoffs. Wasn't exactly the case in the first half, but the longer this game's going on, it seems that Brockton is showing their class above Attleboro, showing itself ever so more. Yeah, exactly. But thing is, to get this 16-point lead, they had to work very hard. Nothing came easy in this ball game so far for the Brockton Boxers to get this 16-point lead. They really had to uh, work hard and sweat and hustle to wow. uh, get it up here. Attleboro's got eight minutes to respond. Three-point attempt by the Blue Bombardiers, no good. Rebounded by Jalen Lee for Brockton. Yeah, that's what Bro um, Attleboro has to do. They have to hit those outside shots when they're open. Oh, nice pass by Azor. Jalen Lee with the layup. Good defense by Azor and the little cut pass to his streaking teammate. Good defense by the boxes. Oh. Great anticipation by Glenn Darty. He doesn't even look happy, he just made a layup. You know, <laughs> <laughs> great steal. Lay up and he's not even smiling. Brockton up by 20, 61 41 the score, 7 04. He looked flat out dissatisfied with himself. Yeah, Glenn Doherty, all see, he's a very intense player. Um, you don't see a lot of smiles coming from him. Uh, he just comes out here to play basketball and he's very serious when he gets out onto the basketball court. And with a 20 point lead, you'd think you get a little smile out of him. But he's all business when Eye he comes on out the prize. here. He's, he's yes. Not no joking this around. Game on to round two. There you go. No joking around. Just get the job Bella done. Belichick like. Yeah, get the job done. And move on. Another great defensive play and hustle by the boxes. Glenn Doherty streaking to the basket. And nice block by the big man for Attleboro, Quailene Charles. Ooh, nice defense. Montero, he wanted to dunk it. 
Yes, he did. And he's capable of dunk. He's dunked it this year a couple times. Six foot three senior. Yeah, all these boxes um, this year, I, just, I believe just about all of them have dunked the basketball during a game. We've got an Attleboro player down in a lot of pain, but he gets up. Nice job by the boxes. Relentless. Ah. Okandola missed an easy one, but Montero was there to put it back up and in. Brockton still controlling the boards tremendously. 63-41, Brockton on top, five minutes to go in this game. Brockton's just too much for this Attleboro team in the second half. Just too much firepower coming off the bench. I want to see Navon Reed head to the free throw line. I know we're not. Gee, where's the foul? Nice strong move to the basket. Open Dola. Open Lola, I stand for Open Lola, yes. Ooh, nice block by uh, Ortiz. Let's see if he can dunk it. There you go. Crowd goes crazy. Marcus Azor. Yep. Crowd loves it. That's the exclamation point on top of that sentence, yeah. right? Yeah, it, the crowd loves it when the guards dunk the ball. Guys like Azor, Montero, Harris. 26 point lead for Brock and 3.59 left to go in the game, 67 to 41. Barring some incredibly unforeseen circumstance, I think Brockton will be in action Friday night for round two of the MIAA South sectional playoffs. Yeah, that, you're exactly right. Incredible, something has to happen for the uh, Bombardiers to get back in this ball game with only 3.59 left in the ball game. Basically, Brockton just came out in that second half and just put it to him. Eight, um, Attleboro did not have anything to counter that attack, that uh, trap attack that um, Brockton put on the um, Attleboro Bombardiers. A lot of turnovers in that second half because of the great defense that the um, boxes put on them.
thing about it, if the box is going to have to be really ready the next next round because right now they're playing the 14th seed, 14th seed and they're going to play a much, much better seed in that second round. So they must be prepared. There must have been about six passes that uh, Attleboro has thrown away because of Brockton's defense just in this second half alone. Clean block. Not here. Not in our house. We've got a reaction from the crowd. Not in our house. That has to be um, deflating. Oh, if being down by 26 <laughs> points wasn't already deflating. Yeah, that, that's the cherry that's on top. Cherry of the on top. There yeah. you go. There you go. The, the Sunday has been completed. Absolutely. Brockton's got three minutes and 12 seconds to eat up that delicious Sunday. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All the players get a nice spoonful. I think the box has got an, another um, JV guy, number 34, is in here. That is James Nichols. James Nichols, big guy. Azor smartly brings it back out front. Okay, what was the call? Okay, a foul. It is one on one. We got a bonus situation, which means that this last two minutes and six seconds of this game can be significantly delayed. Well, let's hope uh, the referees let them play. If I'm rocking, I say, yeah, just let them run around. Yeah. How much damage are you going to do in two minutes and six seconds exactly. when we get a lead like this? 67-41. Brockton, the number three seed, coming in here and taking care of business against a number number 14th seed. Congratulations to the Lady Boxers for uh, getting to the second round. We wish them well. They get the for their win. They get to play the number one seed. That's a tough task. You, you, get, you win a preliminary game, yes. you get the number one seed in the first round. In the first round, right. Well, that's the way it is in March Madness. And tomorrow it will officially be March. Happy end of February to you, Miles. Thanks. I can smell the crocuses. They're just waiting to come up.
That is Marquise DeSantos for Brockton with the layup. 69-43 boxers. Near 30 point lead for Brockton with a buck 20 left in the game. Nice ovation for Nolan Jagger as he comes out of the game. Excuse me, number 31, Nathan Douglas, the senior yes. for Attleboro. This will be his last game ever. Exactly. And Nathan Douglas tonight, eight points on the evening. He played well. Went yes, he did. Three for four at the free throw line for Attleboro. All in the first half. That's number 24 for Brockton. At 23. Excuse me, 23, Samuel Darius. Forty seconds to go. Three pointer by Adelbor's Jornel Abadia, the junior, who just checked into the game moments ago. Fourteen seconds to go. Brockton is just going to do nothing but kill the clock. Now that's going to be all she wrote, folks. The Brockton Boxers defeat the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers by a score of 71 to 48. A dominant second half performance by Brockton, and they'll be moving on to round two of the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs. That game really was a tale of two halves, one being very competitive, the other being a complete blowout. Exactly. Tale of two halves, tale of two cities. You read that story before. Brockton, you got to give Coach Bowen credit. He talked to his team in that at halftime uh, talk, and uh, he told them, you're a better team. You get out there and show them what you can do. With, you're the number three seed. They're the number 14. Let's just put it on them hard in that third quarter. And that's exactly what happened. Um, they just put it heavy on the um, heavy defense on the um, Attleboro Bombardiers. And it wasn't even like they did it spectacularly. It was incrementally and subtly, but the score just kept getting wider and wider and wider, and ultimately 71-41 Brockton with the lead. Well, we'll find out who they'll play in round two of the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs uh, for this Friday soon enough. Folks, check out. Brockton Community Access on social media. I'm sure they'll be posting as well as the MIAA website. But a good start to the postseason for Brockton. Miles, final thoughts? Uh, as far as um, a standout, the, the whole team, Brockton team was a standout. But I like uh, Abu Kaba's game and Luis Charles's game. They were very instrumental in uh, Brockton's uh, win. Maybe 17 points on the evening for Abu Kaba. He finishes off the night with, well, Good opening round of the playoffs for Brockton as they defeat Attleboro 71 to 48. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, our crew tonight, Aaron Tebow, Michael Simmons, my broadcast partner, Miles Jackson. I'm Peter Zimbor. We'll see you in round two of the playoffs. Thanks for watching.